Will you speak more about how resistance can be our ally to make peace with what is incomplete? How, how we can remain open when we feel attacked in that moment, not later when the light goes on and I hit my forehead seeing the test to see if I learn to be open? What a good place you're in. Doesn't always feel like it's a good place. But in hindsight, you can always recognize, can't you, that this moment that I could see this absolute limitation in myself, I wasn't being punished by it. I was being invited to explore it and understand it more thoroughly. How resistance can be our ally to make peace with what is incomplete. It's not commonly known, I've spoken of it before. In the original Aramaic, which Christ spoke in, for those of you that are familiar with it, he said, resist not evil. It turns out that the actual meaning of resist not evil is do not oppose what opposes you. That's all I know to do. Isn't that all you know to do? Oppose whatever seems to oppose you. Not just a person, this moment opposes me. What does this moment oppose? Does it oppose itself or is the moment continually completing itself, using the forces that are given to produce something new? So the moment doesn't oppose me, what opposes me? My own understanding opposes me. Please, do you see it? How can I live in a, a consciousness that endlessly opposes itself and not know it endlessly opposes itself? Because when it opposes itself, I take the side of that which is opposed and come up with a way to oppose what's opposing me. And then I'm a poser. And then, and this is the process, neti neti, not this, not that, the negation, the negation, not the affirmation, the negation. Wait a minute, I've been opposing this moment where something says, this is going to end badly. Do you not have a, oh, oh geez, oh my God. This is, this has a, uh, this written, is a terrible ending coming. And the minute I see a terrible ending, what do I do? Go back to last week. I write a new ending. Failing to see that the ending that I think is coming is coming to the ending I wrote the last time I came to that ending. And one day I say to myself, I'm not writing anymore. Meaning I'm not going to let this mind carry on. And the minute I understand that, it doesn't mean it's going to stop, does it? He goes, well, you... Let's, let's write this. Let's look at it that way. Let's find some other way to look at this. And every way that I try to look at what I don't want to see is the consciousness denying the expression of itself. Every last one of those. And then finally, Nikki, what I actually recognize is I make, how do I say, um, peace with what is incomplete by actually seeing there's nothing for me to make peace with because I am the instrument of peace if I allow what is incomplete to show me it never was to begin with. But I have to go through that, not once. That's what we're going to talk about this in great depth tomorrow. In real estate, what are the main three words for, for it, it, when it comes to real estate? In case you didn't hear it out there, it's location, location, location. It's the exact same thing spiritually. Location, location, location. Which requires practice, practice, practice. As goes my attention, so if attention is the seed, then the outcome is the deed of that attention, isn't it? That's what I need to understand. Because then, Nikki, as you're beginning to understand, 
moment when I feel attacked and I want to oppose all of that, it's because suddenly I feel this vast emptiness in myself. We talked to a nice person, her husband passed away, like just sitting next to her. She says, there's this vast hole in myself. I can't believe it. I can't seem to deal with it. All of these things are, are the same exact moment, only in scale, where I can start to understand my task in this moment where I couldn't feel any less complete than I do is to allow that moment to completely reveal that whatever it is is incomplete in this moment belongs to something that will already complete it if I'll stay with that. If I can consciously suffer the experience of feeling incomplete, that suffering will place me in relationship with my resistance to that moment for a realization to come out of the resistance. For a realization to come out of the resistance. That's the key. And that's how we make peace with resistance, by realizing that within it is an invitation to give me a new realization of my true nature if I will just bear it long enough to see it flower.